Okay, so we're back. And today's word is courage. So what does courage mean to you? For me, it's stepping outside of my comfort zone. And one of the biggest things for that is doing just this right here and continuing to do it. So for me, the biggest thing is stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing this video blogging, this vlogging. I've been putting it off the past couple of days, coming up with various excuses, procrastinating, and even today said, oh, it's been a long day. I probably look tired and I'm not as fresh as I should be and I'll just do it tomorrow. Well, then tomorrow turns into the next day and the next day, and we've talked about this before. And so I'm pushing through it, and here I am. So courage. What does that look like for you? For me, I tend to be a self-described introvert. It suits me just as well to stay at home, and I can go all day and be very quiet and not talk. And yet, I could have extrovert tendencies if I know someone and I'm in an area where I'm comfortable. Courage, it, it looks different for everyone. There was a time when Tom and I were meeting at a restaurant and he had gotten there before me. And he said, oh, I'm sitting at the bar. Just come on in there and, and then we'll get a seat. Why well, didn't see him? And I didn't want to walk across the restaurant in front of people that I didn't know without knowing that he was on the other side. And I needed to see him on the other side. For me to have that courage to just walk through a restaurant, it was a big deal. And I told him, I said, show me yourself. Where are you? Just, just step out in, into the aisle or whatever so that I can see you. And he's like, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm sitting right here. Come on in. I said, nope, I'm, I'm not going to. So I had no courage and no belief in myself to even just walk across a restaurant. I'm happy to say that, that I've come a long way since then. But how many times does having the courage to do something or the lack of courage to do something stop you from ultimately pursuing something that really means a lot to you. How many times are you so worried about what other people may think or what they may say? The bottom line is who cares? Who really cares other than yourself? The process of letting other people stop you from fulfilling your dreams because of lack of courage is really a disservice to you and the other people who can really benefit from you. If you're withholding yourself, what are you withholding from other people where they could learn and benefit from you? Just like me sitting here and summoning up the courage to sit in front of my camera and not be behind it and encourage you to have the courage to go after something that you may truly want. You know, Georgia Dare says that everything you want is on the other side of fear. Perhaps fear could be one of my next words that I use as I make my way through the alphabet because that really is something to overcome. It's the belief in yourself it's the not worrying about what other people think or say and knowing in your mind that it's something that you truly believe in and something worth pursuing. So courage. What have you been putting off because you feel as though you don't have the courage to pursue it? What dreams have you put on the shelf because you haven't gone after them? Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Overcome those obstacles and get on with it and live the dreams and the goals that you ultimately have always had in your heart. Go after them. Until next time.